Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to learn how to install Pun BB. What I'm doing is I'm at pun.org. What I'm right doing right this second is I'm clicking on the download. We are going to download the latest version, which is 1.2.15. We're downloading it. We're going to save it to disk. What I'm going to do is I'm going to save it to a folder on my C drive which I have a bunch of junk in there let's go C drive let's create a folder called pun P -U -N -B -B. we're gonna click on the folder open it up and say save okay now what we have to do is I'm gonna click start right click on start we're gonna explore we're going to explore the folder where we saved it at. Okay, it's on C drive. Go down to pun. Now, what I'm doing is I downloaded WinRAR, and WinRAR is a zipping utility. I'm going to right click on it and say extract files to pun 1.2.15. Okay, it's extracting the files. Now, what I've done is down here in the taskbar, I have a web server. It's called WOS, and it's a portable web server which has Apache, MySQL, and a bunch of other little things. Okay, so I'm going to minimize that. Now, what we're going to do is open the folder up, and you see an upload folder. Double click on the upload folder. Okay, this is everything that you need to install pun except for one file that you have to create called config.php what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go edit select all right click on it and I'll go down to copy what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this over to my web server that I'm running and this will portray your domain site Okay, so I go down to my WOS port portable, click on there, and I go in the World Wide Web folder. I've already got a pun installed on this that I run and test and design styles and stuff, so I'm going to create a new folder, and I'm going to call it Test, T-E-S-T. -E this will represent your World Wide Web or your public HTML folder. I'm going to open it up, I'm going to right click. I'm going to paste it. Okay, you noticed everything's in there now. So, what I'm going to do now is this is portraying that you upload your stuff via FTP. Uh, I prefer Smart FTP. So, what I'm going to do now with Firefox is I'm going to open a new window or a tab, as people call it, and I'm going to go local host. What this is going to do is going to pull my pun that I've got installed so what I'm gonna do is actually first I need to go to the PHP admin I'm gonna open this in a new tab because I'm gonna have to create the database and you'll understand why in a few minutes so I'm gonna create one called test create okay and you notice down over here you've created a database called test which on my local server the username and password for the local database is root and no password so I'm going to go back to my localhost software I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna go just straight to localhost Okay, it's going to bring this up. So I need to go to the folder called test. Now, this is what you'd see, normally see when you uh, upload all the information to your website. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to click install. Now, this is where we created the database test in our MySQL, my PHP admin section. Okay, 
the database server location would be whatever local host or whatever thing now the database name is what I just created called test the database user whatever you assign it in the database so mine is root the database password is blank the administrator username I'm gonna use is called admin and the password I'm just gonna use password and then password again now since I'm running this local host I gotta have an email account for the forum so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create one called admin at local dot host once I'm done with that I click start this is gonna generate a file that you're gonna have to import into your system since to finalize the installation you'll need to copy and paste the text in the text box below to a file called config.php okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight everything I'm gonna right click and say copy now once I do that I'm gonna go back to my folder with test let's make this big I'm gonna right click say new I'm gonna create a text document and I'm just gonna click OK I'm not gonna name it or anything yet so I open it up I right click and I paste make sure that your ph question mark php starts at line one there's no spaces or you'll get some funky errors or no screens and all kinds of stuff so I'm gonna exit out of this I'm gonna say save now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on it say rename and I'm gonna name this file config dot php once I'm done Windows is gonna say hey you're changing the file extension you know this file may become unsuitable are you sure you want to change it I say yes once I've done that now I've installed pun so I'm gonna train change this to detail list so I see everything in here under detail list so now let's go back to my pun install once I'm this all we have to do is click go to forum index now pun BB is installed I can log in with your username and password admin and the password say log in now we have it installed if you have any questions send me a message on pun bb my username is quicker thank you